Today's Bible study is called Justified by the Faith of Jesus Christ. With the background history leading up to and thereafter the conclusions reached in Acts 15 Jerusalem Council per Paul's commentary in Galatians 2, he has effectively established the foundations of his case for grace. In our last installment, Paul continued with the record of his interactions with Peter, which resulted in Paul withstanding him to face regarding his dissimulation and Paul's questioning him, saying, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? And this is a good question as those of the circumcision, despite the accord reached at the Jerusalem Council still troubled Gentile believers, as has been related thus far in Galatians. With that understood, we continue with Paul's addressing Peter in the matter of his dissimulation and an interesting conclusion drawn. We who are Jews by nature, and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Galatians 2 15-16 Let's break this down. Paul effectively answers the question he asked of Peter in our last session, with the introduction, We who are Jews by nature, and not sinners of the Gentiles. This observation is essentially Paul saying to Peter, You should know better by now. And then the conclusion Paul reaches, example, that by this time Peter should know from hanging out in Antioch, is one that is missed in almost all versions of the Bible other than the King James translation. And what is missed is the obvious grace conclusion that Paul shows Peter should have understood by this time, namely knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. In other words, by this time it is no longer about Israel's kingdom gospel and associated new covenant offer with the associated law obedience requirements and provisions, rather it is about grace. And grace has a foundation to which Paul refers here. We have pointed out in other Bible Game Changer teachings, the importance of the faith of Jesus Christ and will not reteach this, here. But suffice it to say that Paul's conclusion, regarding Israel's kingdom gospel and new covenant anticipated works of the Mosaic law, is that these had been paused by this time. And it should be noted that, even when God someday resumes his program for Israel, it will be knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. Instead, Paul points out to Peter what he should have already learned, namely that a person is justified by the faith of Jesus Christ or not at all. And further, on this basis, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law. As you have heard many times in this writing, salvation is in simple belief of the gospel, by grace through faith, but here we learn that faith does not originate with us, rather it originated with the faith of Jesus Christ. For it is his faith to do the will of the Father, his faith to go to the cross and die for our sins trusting the Father, and his faith that is acknowledged by the Father when he raised him from the dead, that is under consideration here. And we, on this foundation, are simply recipients, in faith believing and by grace receiving and thereby exercising our faith. Paul thereby concludes to Peter what he already knew, namely, and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And this is true both in the kingdom gospel and the gospel of the grace of God. For under the postponed kingdom gospel, works of the law are but the obedience of faith and otherwise have no part in salvation. Believer, recognize that faith does not begin with us, rather it begins with the faith of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.